Hello everybody and welcome to our own channel Science Center. Today we are hunting for a DC moon. They are really important part of humanity and every inch of electricity you get might be coming from a motor. Today we are discussing a direct current that is a DC motor. So let's dive in. To know about DC motor, we should be aware of a concept derived by John Fleming. It is commonly referred to Fleming's left hand rule. So, what does Fleming's left hand rule say? Well, it tells us which direction the force will be applied if a current carrying wire is in the effect of a magnetic field. It helps us to identify which direction the rotor moves in a motor. It includes our thumb, index finger and a middle finger. The thumb represents the direction of force, index finger the direction of magnetic field that is north pole to south pole and the middle finger represents the conventional flow of current that is positive to negative. Don't be confused between the electron flow which is negative to positive and conventional flow that is positive to negative. Let's understand by few examples. Let's take a copper wire. If we pass the current, it will induce a magnetic field around the wire as per scientist Hans Christian Oesten. Hence, the wire has turned into an electromagnet. And if we place the electromagnet between a permanent magnet, it will be repelled and attracted. That is, a force will be generated. As we see here, the conventional flow of current here is towards the right hand side. Let's bring the permanent magnet. Here, we can see the direction of the magnetic field that is north to south is upwards. Now let's bring our left hand. Is the index finger pointing in direction of the magnetic field and the middle finger in the direction of a conventional current? Yes. As we can see, the thumb is pointing towards us hence the wire will move towards us. Let's take another example. As we see here, the conventional flow of current here is towards the left hand side. Let's bring the permanent magnet. Here we can see the direction of the magnetic field north to south is upwards. Now let's bring our left. Let's rotate it to its appropriate position. Is the index finger pointing in the direction of the magnetic field and the middle finger in the direction of the conventional current? Yes. As we can see, the thumb is pointing away from us. Hence, the wire will move away from us. Now, a real application arises. Let's bring the bent copper wire and the permanent magnet as it is in a DC motor. Let's divide the copper bend into half. On right half, the conventional flow is upwards, while on the left side, it is downwards. Now, get our left hand for our right side. We can see that the thumb is pointing upwards. So, the right side will move upwards. Let's bring our left hand for left side. Here, we can see that the thumb is pointing downwards. So, the left side, the copper bend will move downwards. If we combine the both direction, we get a full rotation of the coil. Let us see the proper demonstration of the following. For the demonstration, we are going to need a permanent magnet, a piece of foam, a pair of safety pins, a coiled copper wire which I coiled yesterday. These are the two pair of alligator pins, one for positive, one for negative, a dry cell with a socket. First of all, we are going to place the pins upside down. Make sure that the holes down of the pin are open. Ensure that the pins are of the same height. Take the copper wire and insert it in the pins of the pin. Now, take the alligator pin and attach it to the pins. Now, this is a closed circuit. Take a magnet and place it below the copper coil. Now, give two to three times initial push to change the copper coil's inertia of rest. 
after giving the inertia of rest we can see that the copper coil is moving smoothly this concept is also based on the left hand's fleming rule also this is how a dc motor works but in dc motor there are two magnets placed on each side here only one magnet is placed because this is a simple demonstration showed for students here i have opened a dc motor after you remove the socket you can see the two brushes or the two terminals here is the shaft if you remove this you can see the inside of a dc motor here you can see the copper coils here also you can see the brushes here is the commutator and this is the rotor where you have to attach your fans and this will start moving this is the case inside you see two plates one is white and one is blue the blue color is the south pole the white color is the north pole this is the these are the magnets of a dc motor if you have understood every working of a dc motor the inside parts of a dc motor and the left hand fleming's rule then please comment like and share and subscribe to the video thanks for watching